Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadia Ismail, wedding and portrait photographer based in Brunei Darussalam. Before we start, if you think this video is a little bit different than the previous ones, it is. I mistakenly deleted the footage of me talking for the intro of this video, so instead of doing it all over again, I thought I'd just save some time and just record a voiceover. Regardless, I hope you'll enjoy this video. So I've been doing wedding photography since 2016 and I still remember shooting my first wedding was nerve wracking. I was worried that I would mess up my settings and miss important shots because I didn't know what to expect and not having a clue is quite scary. That's the reason why I am doing this video to give you an idea of the things you can expect in Malay weddings specifically during the solemnization or simply known as nikah. Without further ado, let's dive into today's main topic. Normally when I first arrive, I'm usually ushered to the getting ready room and during this time, the bride is usually still doing her makeup. I don't take photos of every single thing that the makeup artist does to the bride so I'll just take a couple of shots and then I'll move on to the things that are in the room which are usually the wedding details or anything that I find interesting for example these were photos of my bride's kids and I also photograph their family members depending on the makeup if it's not ready, I would take photos of the wedding gifts or hantaran. Sometimes I won't have much time or I have limited space, so I take the best photo I possibly can depending on the situation. If I have plenty of time and space, I'll take my time to photograph each gift. Then I'll check on the bride and take photos of them when they are almost ready. If I still have time and if the bride is not busy attending to their guests, I'll ask them to do a few portraits. If they are occupied or if we just don't have time to do the portraits, I'll just take the portraits of them later after the event. If it takes even longer for the bride to get ready, I'll make sure that I go outside and take photos of the details and what the family members are doing. I just take photos that my brides aren't able to see while they are in their getting ready room. The next section of the event is Ize Maulia. I'll just capture the moments that are unfolding during the time. Sometimes you'll be stuck in a limited space, so it's always best to get ready with your white lens. Then when the groom's family members arrive and during the exchange of the hantaran, I try to keep my distance but still able to capture the important moments. During this time, it's best to switch up between white shots and also tighter shots. During the akatnika, normally if the venue is spacious, then I move around to take photos from various angles. But there are also times when I can't move from my spot, so I try to be creative to vary my shots. I also make sure that I get their family members and close friends reactions. After the event ends, I usually give the couple time to attend to their guests and I'm always on standby to take photos of the families and guests with the couple. And then afterward, I ask the couple to do a few portraits, maybe photos of details. And if I haven't taken their getting ready portraits earlier, I'll take photos of that too. Taking portraits of the couple is compulsory for me because I want them to have great photos of themselves. So that's why I leave couple portraits till the end of the day because I can focus 100% on them and giving them my best. That's all for today's video. I hope this video is going to help shooting your first Malay wedding. Just a note of advice to stay and look professional during the wedding. Remember to smile even if you're tired, be friendly and helpful to everyone on the wedding. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching.